99.1 won the whale. It's Jim Free and you hanging out in the free zone, free zone in the morning. And uh, George Thorogood, Fog Hat, and Molly Hatchet going to be playing uh, Friday, June second at Tags out in Big Flats. And uh, I'm honored to be joined on the phone by Roger Earl, a drummer and original member from the legendary Fog Hat. Roger, how are you doing? Uh, actually, I'm doing great. I just had a birthday party on May 16th, and I think this is. I'm recovering today. Uh, let's see. I'm going to put some blood back in my alcohol system. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I had a really good night's sleep last night. And we were uh, trying to go back on the road. I'm leaving tomorrow morning, uh, going down to Florida to our studio down there. We're going to rehearse for four or five days. And we're putting a new set together, with some songs that we haven't played in 20 or 30 years. Oh, I have played on all of them at some time or another. Mm-hmm. But... Uh, it was just uh, each year we try and move the set around and change some stuff, and uh, we're doing all the songs from uh, Fog Hat Live, uh, which is I think it's his 40th anniversary this 40 years ago. Uh, that's it, hard. It's hard to believe, uh, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh wow. Uh, no. Actually, I, I I still only feel like you know a 20 year old. Actually, my wife sometimes tells me, tells me that I act like one. Oh, but, yeah. um, that's a good thing. No, no, I've no, I've grown up. I've grown up. Now, I mean, think about it. If, if, when you formed Fog Hat back in 1970 uh, with uh, Lonesome Dave, the uh, if somebody told you then that you'd still be doing this almost 50 years later, what, what would you say to them? I'd say, uh, I don't know what I would have said. <laughs> it, uh, you know, I mean, it, it, I just had my 71st birthday, and it's like, 71, how did that happen? Uh, but... Um, I'm actually, actually, I feel fine, and uh, you know, life is real good. Uh, everybody's healthy at the moment, and um, I love my, I love my job. I mean, most people, most people reach this sort of time of life, you know, are saying things like, "Well, I think I'm going to retire now," or, or "I've been retired for five or six years." So yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna roll till I'm old and roll till I drop. Uh, I have no choice, really. Um, it's like careful what you wish for. When I was a kid, when I first started playing drums, I was about twelve years old. And it's like, this is what I do. No, exactly. I mean, it's a, it becomes part of your life to the point where you, you don't want to walk away from it. And, you know, if as long as you're still enjoying doing it, you know, why not? I mean, I, I know as a Fog Hat fan, I can't wait to see you guys. It's It's been many years since I've seen the band and uh, definitely looking forward to seeing it out at Tags uh, Friday night. Nonetheless, June 2nd, it's going to be awesome. Um, now, uh, the one thing I didn't see until I was uh, prepping for this interview is you guys have your own wine now. How, how did that come about? Who came up with that? Um, well, it, uh, wine has always been uh, my beverage of choice. Uh, so sometimes we sort of add a little something to it as well. But um, about 19, was it uh, 2007, we played the uh, Mid-California State Fair. We played two sold-out shows there. And a winemaker called Steve Rasmussen turned that up there, and he was a big Foghat fan. And his partner at the time uh, said, Foghat, that would that would be a great name for wine. So he called our manager about two weeks later. He sent an email to her, and uh, that started it. Uh, the first one was a 2005 cab from Paso Robles. And we would just been, we think we made like 90 cases. I have one left. I'm keeping that. <laughs> uh, at the moment, we have, at the moment we have a 2013 Pinot Noir from Central Coast. Uh, we have a 2012 Cabernet Sauvignon, and we have uh, from Paso Robles. We have a 2014 Chardonnay. Uh, the wines are delicious, and um, I have a large cellar in my backyard. <laughs> oh, very nice. And that's where you yeah, spent your, uh, the last few days celebrating your birthday, right? Yeah, uh, right, in the cellar. <laughs> go down to that cellar and pick up some mellow wine. Um, actually, it's a lot of fun. I, I go out and um, go to, go to uh, Harvest. I didn't go to Harvest last year. Um, we were working. But, um, I'll either go, you know, if it's not the wines, uh, grapes that we're going to be using, I'll, I'll go and pick uh, grapes with uh, some of the other farmers. Um I enjoy it. It's a lot of fun. You have to get up real early. Sometimes I'll stay up anyway. And you go out and you with the, with the professional workers. They work really hard. With folks. It's pretty yeah. impressive. Um, 
But uh, I enjoy doing it. And the farmers are really cool people. Um, you know, very down to earth, very generous. And uh, also I found it refreshing that, you know, if there's, if there's some kind of blight uh, on, on the grapes, uh, they let other farmers know. And also if something's going particularly well, they talk to each other, which I found very refreshing, you know, in business. Um, yeah, I, I enjoy it a lot. But, you know, my heart, is, I'm still a rock and roller. This yeah. is what I do. There you go. It's a uh, legendary drummer, Roger Earl from Fog Hat, uh, one of the original members. And if you want to order that wine that we were just talking about, you can get it uh, right through your website, correct? Yeah, you go to foghat.net or foghat.com. Uh, we've got both those, so uh, you can find out about them. The wines are absolutely delicious. And, um, yeah, Fog Hat Cellars, just go to that part on our uh, page. Um, if you're into wine, go ahead. We're playing Big Flat. Yes. It's uh, June 2nd, Friday, June 2nd, uh, with George Arhe Saragut. Yes. There's going to be some <laughs> drinking going on in this tour, I think. Uh, have you ever yeah. Have you ever uh, toured with George before? Uh, actually, I'm real good friends with his drummer. Um, we've done a couple of dates together. Uh, I've always been a big fan of his music. Uh, he has probably one of the greatest uh, slide guitar sounds and uh Really cool people, great band, and um, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. I have a bunch of friends who live up in the area. Um, Jeff Howell has, has helped us out many times and played bass with us on a number of records and dates. He lives up there, so I'm looking forward to seeing Jeff. And we have a few other friends up there. And in fact, I played there about six or seven years ago with uh, Leonard Skinner, I think. Oh, okay. Uh, so and it's a terrific venue, fantastic venue. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, you know, the outdoors. As long as the weather is perfect, it, it's it's an awesome place to see a show. And uh, you, yeah. you were talking about the wines and being up here. Have you ever gone up to the uh, Finger Lakes? Uh, up, I mean, there's so many wineries up here in upstate New York. Yeah, and in fact, a, a couple of times um, I talked to some folks up there. I've got a couple of friends who uh, are in the wine business and and also growing uh, grapes. Um, we were talking about doing a, a Riesling at some time or another. I haven't got around to it yet. Yeah. Um, uh, but, yeah, um, I've been out there a number of times. Yeah, trying some nice stuff up there. Yeah, yeah it's a very cool area. Uh, George yeah. Thorogood, uh, Fog Hat, and Molly Hatchet, Friday, June 2nd, out at Tags and Big Flats. Uh, tickets are available at tagstickets.com. They are $25 and $75 for the uh, reserve seats up front. And you were talking about uh, going down and working out some songs that you haven't worked on in a long time. Can you clue us in on uh, some of the some of the nuggets we'll get to hear out of Tags? Yeah. Uh, we haven't uh, we haven't played Honey Hush in a while, and of course that's sort of like right right at the limit of uh, you know playing uh, ability. Well, actually, when we recorded it, was it 40 years ago? So I was a lot younger than I was only 31 then, so I had speed in my feet. But it's going to be fine. Yeah. Uh, there's that one. We'll be doing two or three songs from a new album, uh, Under the Influence. Uh, and we'll be playing, or you know, uh, I just want to make love to you, uh, and stuff like that. Stone Blue. Nice. We take requests, but don't ask for any ballads. We don't play no stinking ballads. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah, I mean, between yeah. you, George, and Molly Hatchet, I, I, you know, I wouldn't expect to hear any ballads. So this is going to be an awesome no. show. Yeah, we, we're going to be rocking and rolling. There you go. Uh, Roger, I appreciate the time and uh, look forward to seeing you guys uh, in concert once again. It's uh, Roger Earl, drummer from Fog Hat, playing with uh, George Thorogood and Molly Hatchet Friday, June 2nd at Tags and Big Flats. And uh, it's going to be an awesome show. And uh, Roger, again, thanks for calling in. Thank you, Jim. It's been a pleasure talking to you. We'll see you out there.